Let's get rid of that. Bring up the master duel with the famous reboot message. Love it. Gotta love it. Probably take my headphones off. That's probably a decent idea. Let's see if stream is live. Should be. Yeah, it's live. And now we wait for the people to show up. Now we wait for the people to show up. So they can tell me if my audio is good, and then I can proceed. So any newcomers don't enter and wonder why there's no volume. Might have to do some dual triangle tonight. I don't want to. I don't want to. I just want to focus on ranked ladder, but it's kind of hard to pass up 3,100 gems. Very difficult to pass up that many gems. I'm um, just realizing too that I need a foam charger. So anybody watching this, I need a foam charger. Probably gonna grab some water too. I will BRB. Should probably type that out before I leave. I really need to invest in a second monitor. I really do, but I just, I don't know. I can't bring myself to spend the money on it. Thank you, some guy, for letting me know the audio levels are good. That means we're good to proceed once I get back with a phone charger and water. Phone charger, water. Don't need anything else, cool. After that, I'll be set up. Back. That was a record. That was a record. Well, get out of here. Don't be showing that. That's concerning. I think I have my screen cap on. Is it on? Let's wait and find out. Yep, display capture was on. Whoops. Hello, everybody. I think we have three people here now. That's good enough to start. Some guy, how are you doing? Mysterious other random person who's in chat right now. How are you doing? Y'all ready to duel? Let's do it. Let's go rank ladder. Bestial RDA. Playing the big build. I like it. I like the 52 cards, it works for me. It works for me. And then if uh, if good vibes shows up, I'm gonna put Foyd Ogre in my deck just to make them happy. Just put a smile on their face, that's all. At this point, it's become more of a bit that I don't play Void Ogre Dragon just to, uh, just to poke at some people. It's become more of a bit, but Occasionally I will have uh, hands like this that open a bestial and I can use that bestial to extend into like a void ogre if I really wanted to and uh, It's a little sad when I don't get to and I just have to hold it and hope it's useful Okay, Gaia grab soul They got something uh, Ash or Maxi 
the fact that they read that so long makes me think it's Ash. Definitely makes me think it's Ash. If they Ash Soul, I'm fine. Because I have Bestial Imperm Maxi, which is the goal of the the way I built the deck. Is to, uh, is to maximize my opportunities to open as much non-engine as possible. So if my very linear and very stoppable combo gets stopped, I'm a-okay. And I just realized I don't have my light on. I look like garbage. I normally look like garbage, but exceptionally so right now. Okay, so we're going to grab Bone. Okay, it's happening after every action. It's max C. So they're waiting for me to commit to a special summon before they fire it. I am okay with giving them one draw off a of Bone Archfiend. Yep, there it is. Okay. Some guy, average snakes fan versus average special summon monsters from the extra deck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go Bone. Okay, Bone's gonna set up the Crimson. We should do this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to set up the Crimson. I'm going to dump the Vision. Vision's going to search. Vision's going to search. Do I want to search Red Zone or do I want to search Fiendish Golem? I kind of want to search Fiendish Golem here. But I think... Mm, Red Zone requires me to give him one more draw into the maxi. Phoenix Golem is just good for me to stop right here, right now. Um, we'll go Red Zone. I don't remember if I won the coin toss or not. Don't remember if I won the coin toss or not. TBH. Because if I lost the coin toss, there's probably an argument for... Um... Probably an argument for just going with Scar Red and, and giving them the extra draw, just so I don't play into stuff like Lava Golem, all that nonsense. The Uber Loop and Grave that doesn't do anything for me right now, and we will just pass turn with Imperm Negate, Red Zone Pop, RDA Float, Max C, and Swarm, and I want to do this in. Standby so I don't play into talents. That way they can't take my Red Dragon Archfiend and kill me with it. I'll just shotgun it. And if they're willing to pass back, that's fine. They better have another one because I have great follow-up. Great, great follow-up. Magical Mallet. Oh my goodness. What kind of predicament have I found myself in? What kind of predicament have I found myself in? They're shuffling. How many cards are in their deck? They're playing a type 40. Okay, cool. That's fine. I was always going to have to turn on thrust with the max C of at least, at least made sure I didn't turn on a talents by staying outside of main phase with the max C activation. Lightning storm. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Call back row, please. Nope. Yo, what a cool animation. Here's an even cooler one. Thanks, Soul Resonator. What? Why the trap no die? Soul's got my back. What can I say? Okay. Uh, they're gonna destroy Red Zone. Are they on Striker? Is Magical Mallet just what they're using for consistency and to put a spell in the grave? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's whatever. Can't really do anything. Guess you can pop the 
Scar Red, that's fine. Uh, Scar Red Float. And Crimson Gaia Float. Feel kind of silly using up all my floats, but... Um... Oh no, I can't use the Bistial because they don't have a monster. Okay. Okay. That called by the grave got a ton of value for them. That's crazy. Are they going to drop evenly on me? Okay. What are they doing? Are they just on like 40 spells? Are they doing... Is this a bit? What's going on here? What's going on here? I am so confused. I don't think I'm losing this though. Yeah, I don't think I'm losing this. Unless there was something on that mysterious spell card that would, uh... Would have made these blue eyes unaffected. So blue eyes... Gonna have to crash into my Druus Worm. Druus Worm is going to go ahead and send a blue eyes that has not attacked yet. Cool. And this other blue eyes shows up and they get to do 3k damage. And then okay. That worked, and now I know you have absolutely nothing. I know you have absolutely nothing, and we're just gonna full combo you. This was a very interesting duel. Hey, okay, cool. Thank you for scooping. Very interesting. It's a kind way to put it. Oh, we had six people in chat. What up, six people? All right, we go next. We go next, we go next, we go next. Some guy, you're the only one who's talked in chat. How you doing tonight? How's your Friday? Is it a good Friday? Is it a happy Friday? Does today actually start your weekend? It doesn't for me. I'm working uh, overtime, so. It's all right though. It wasn't mandatory. I just decided to go make extra money instead of enjoy myself. Uh, this hand is great. <laughs> for them passing without doing anything. Thank goodness. Otherwise All right Okay Um. Yeah I'm not gonna play in the maxi if they're bricked up. I'm not gonna do them any favors Will normal bone arch fiend will activate the effect of bone arch fiend will target bone arch fiend yeah, come on. Burn a hand trap on this. Please, burn a hand trap on this. Oh, that's fine. That doesn't negate the effect. Plan is to send vision here, and then use vision to grab Gaia, and then... Uh, I mean, we have both the trap targets already. But at least we'll have set up for next turn, and on our in graveyard, which is fine. It's where we need it to be. And we're gonna go you. Oh, I can get Bone Archfiend back. That'd be great. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, we'll grab Guaranteed Soul in case they deal with the Gaia. And then we're gonna set one. We're gonna set two. We're gonna set three. And we're gonna set four. Good luck. Good luck. I'm not playing in your maxi. I'm not going to unbrick you. You couldn't do anything on turn one. I'm not going to help you out. Great, bro. Thanks. Good. I'm glad it's going great for you. Ooh, super heavy samurai. Uh, the link one is legal, correct? In Master Duel? Okay. Probably should have impermed that. 
kind of thought it was going to end up being the Link one. What is going on with the decks I'm playing tonight? Are they just playing... Psyframes? What's up, Doc? Are you playing Psyframes? Huh? What are you doing to me, homie? Uh, normal soul? Uh, kind of don't want to do soul effect. Kind of don't want to do soul effect. But I will. Ash, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so if a side frame is summoned, then they get to immediately synchro with it. But that's fine because I can take care of the synchro with Fiendish Golem or Imperm. So we're going to push into this a little bit more. Let's... Oh, that's hilarious. I can special Stone Sweeper. Uh, what do I want to send to the graveyard? Let's activate Stone Sweeper, see if we can bait something out from them. Nope, I'm not reading anything. Sweet, so all we gotta do is make sure we don't play in the nib, and then we're good. Don't play in the nib, and we're a-okay. Here. Bone. Send. I don't even know if Crimson was the right pick to send at that point, if we're not playing into... Not playing in the nib. Well, that's fine. We'll just get set up for future turns in case we want to make a big push. Oh, okay. They're just going to surrender. See where every link is legal. Some guy, you are always a treasure to have around in chat. Always a treasure to have around in chat. Always make sure I know what's going on. I can barely do that myself. So I need the help. And I appreciate the help. I don't know what's going on with the decks we've been playing tonight, but I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. If I could have a nice, easy path to uh, to Master 1, that'd be great. That would be great. I'll take it. I'll take it. Another deck that made me go first? What is going on tonight? Oh, they got the World Championship sleeves. That's cool. Uh, do I want to do anything with these? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go Void Apocalypse. Could start Crimson here. But I like the idea of discarding the Crimson to put it in rotation. Yeah. And then send the... Uh, let's send Vision. Vision's going to search Gaia, then Gaia's going to search Soul, and then we're going to prompt them to interrupt the Soul and use the Foolish Burial to extend by sending the Bone, and then Bone has a free discard in the Void Apocalypse. Um, beware of Makanko. Yeah, I know, but it's more fun this way. It's more fun if I play into it and see if I can win anyways. Ash. That's a good call. It's a very good call. Does Foolish get me anywhere? Does Foolish get me anywhere? Uh, no, because I already sent the vision to search. Foolish can get to me to bone, but that doesn't do anything. Let's go ahead and... I don't know. We'll pass. We'll just let him have it. We're not going to try to extend anything. It doesn't get us anywhere. I had a train of thought. I lost it because I got distracted by the ash. It'll never be back. Oh, that was it. I was talking in the comments of another video the other day. It's, uh... uh hey, Fenrir. That's awesome. Ooh, before the end of main, they're going to use the Fenrir to banish one of those. That's okay, because I can always search another one with the Foolish Burial. That's fine. Banish whichever one you choose. Anyways, I'm going to finish the story. So I was talking in the comments of another video with somebody the other day of why I like, uh, why I only play the one Crimson, and why uh, soul-led combos are, um, I think, 
a uh, a better option than Crimson Light combos is um, do you have lots of ways to extend or put Bone Archfiend where you need it? So if you have one of those ways in hand already, you have a two card combo you could potentially work with. If, if Soul gets negated, um, it's easier to extend into something. It's easier to get the piece you need. If they don't interrupt Soul, you grab the extender you would need if they interrupt you at a later point, you know? Uh, but if you go like a Crimson Light combo, you have to open the non-tuner with it, so you're at a two-card combo, and you get choked out at Red Rising, and if you want to extend past Red Rising, you need to hard open the third card for that combo. Uh, I just like the Soul Light combos, because they just... In my opinion, they... They give your opponent more opportunities to interact incorrectly. Uh, now I have to figure out how to bait this Fenrir in a way that doesn't get something important negated. I mean, I could go with Centric. Probably should have. That's a mistake on my part. I probably should have used the Res Call to grab like a Vision. Uh, I can always use Vision. Gaia, Gaia. Okay, let's... Do I just play into it? Because it doesn't negate the effects of anything. Let's just play into it, see if they'll use it. Let's just play into it. Uh, what do we need? I have a way to get the bone. I need a vision resonator. Okay, that's cool. Um really wish I could bait that Fenrir send the I might want to sequence this differently might want to send the Lubellion probably should have held the Foolish Burial probably should have given up the free card with Void Apocalypse sent Bone, use Bone See what they do there. This kind of forces my hand if I want to get Lubellion into rotation. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I could just foolish the bone. But it doesn't really. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just foolish the bone. Let's just stick with the game plan. I don't know if it's a good one, but we'll stick with it. We'll stick with the game plan. Here. Uh, Baylor has more value. Bone. There it is. Okay, cool. Alright, so they knew what they were doing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, discard a card. Discard you. Send a fiend to the graveyard. I don't know, put another bone in rotation. You grab another Gaia. Gaia, grab the Fiendish Golem. Fiendish Golem clears the Fenrir for next turn. Okay. It's a three turn plan and not one single Fenrir. Gotta love it. Three turn planned out of Fenrir. Uh. They're not searching anything with their Fenrir, which is concerning. Uh, before the end of main, I'll let them go battle, starts up a battle. Get rid of the Fenrir. It was always part of the plan. I don't want them banishing anything else. I don't want to get low on card advantage. Fenrir won't come back till the end of their next turn. End of my turn. End phase of the next turn. So it'll come back at the end of this turn. But hopefully we just uh, murder them into the sun. And we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, bone. Bone, send Valor. Special summon itself from the graveyard. 
Bone effect. Target the soul. Uh, what are we sending in the graveyard? Uvaloop is not in rotation yet. We will do that. Decrease. There's a chance that I'm going to hit a big fat rock. Given the fact that they don't have anything to interact with me yet. And they haven't made any plays the last couple turns. So we're going to see if we can sneak one in here. Let's see. We might be able to just go to a Abyss without having an issue. So we want Bone, Red Rising, Red Rising bring back Crimson, Crimson Summon puts us right at five. Crimson Summoning brings us to five. We could just go Abyss and hope that's enough. I'll just go for the kill. What do you think is the correct ratio for Red Lotus when it drops? Honestly, I have no idea what the right ratio is. Could be one, could be three. Um, could be one, could be three. Rose Call, have I used my normal summon yet this turn? No, I have not. So we'll go with Soul. Uh, I should probably start playtesting Red Lotus. Probably. Let's do this. Should probably start playtesting Red Lotus, but um, I haven't really found the time yet. Or there's no sense of urgency to test it yet. No sense of urgency to test it yet, just because, uh... We'll just play in the nib. Yep, there's nib. Okay. I got greedy. There's the rock. There's the rock. I knew it was there, too. I knew it was there, but I wanted to play greedy. That's fine. We got plans. Grab the soul for next turn. And Gaia. Grab Red Zone. We set Red Zone. We activate the Uba Loop. We banish the Abyss. Um, do we banish the Red Rising Dragon? I don't know. It's a good question. It's a very good question. Nah, we don't. We keep Uva Loop in hand because that's a free send. That's a free send next turn for Void Apocalypse. See if they just attempt to go battle phase and then in the battle phase we'll do it. It's a little concerning that they don't have a search target for Fenrir yet. Okay, starts up a battle. Well, use the effect now. We get back the Abyss. Abyss goes face up here. Uh. This does it on attack deck. And this card declares an attack. Okay, that's fine. So there's no need to do it until they declare an attack with it. They declare an attack, they activate the effect, I chain. If not, they run in, they lose life points, and we get one step closer to victory. Okay. Activate effect. Negate the effect of Fenrir. Lose two under. Aha! First blood. We did it. No, not my token. Not the precious token. Okay, what you got for me? No back row, nothing. 
All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Vanquer soul. They're bricked up that long on Vanquer soul. Or do they just not see the need to play? Two latest, uh, two lotus is the correct ratio. Ashley Weber, why do you think uh, two is the correct ratio? I'm not saying you're wrong. I have no idea. I'm just curious to hear hear what your reasoning is, because that maybe that'll help me make my own decision. Okay, so we have our own rock now. That's good. Let's turn the toggle off. I'll turn the toggle. Uh, we probably just go battle phase here, force the Fenrir. Well, not force the Fenrir, but just run over the Fenrir, try to play in main phase two. Don't be stupid and play into a nib or anything else they're holding in their hand. Uh, they just want to burn me with burger? I mean, my feet keep slipping on my chair. Yeah, that's fine. Burn me. That's fine. Nope. Battle phase. Attack. Boop the Fenrir. Boop. And then, oh, I can target a tuner in my graveyard and special summon it. Let's special summon the, what's a good one to grab? Uh, probably the Synchron. Probably the Synchron. Okay. And then are the Vanquish Souls only during the main phase they can take out? Uh, that's fine. We'll save it for whatever they tag into. Let's go. Get a little greedy. This Potter. I really need to establish an RDA on board. Is what I really need to do. But uh, we'll we'll deal with that in a minute. Probably a bad idea to start stacking columns to vanquish soul. All right, let's get the vision back to hand. Let's activate Uvaloop. Uvaloop, banish the abyss. Special summon itself. This Potter. Go ahead and bring back the Abyss. How many summons is that? That's. We did what? Um. Synchron. This Potter. Synchron. Synchron and Abyss into this Potter. Summon the Uva Loop. Move loop banish, to spot or summon back the abyss. So that's less than five. So we're just gonna keep it there. Keep it there. I think we're in a pretty decent position. I think we're in a pretty decent position. Let's not play into another nib. We have we have pops with this potter, we have negates with the abyss. Ideally I would like to have the red zone live and the protection of graveyard of soul live, but there's only so much you can do. Awesome. 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 Yeah, that's fine. Burn. Okay. Okay. Tried to play around the second nib, played right into the to the rock. You gotta love it. That's fine. Do your thing. Do as you must. 
Okay, Caesar. We need toggle on so we can not die to the Borger. Not die to the Borger in the main phase. If they tag out, that's fine. It's fine that they tag out, that's what we want. Thought that was during the main phase. Oh no, never mind. Alright, fine, never mattered anyways. Oh well. That was yet another odd, odd, odd game. Yet another odd game. Bricked up Vanquish Soul. I feel pretty decent playing into Vanquish Soul when they're just playing engine versus engine. But when they're sitting on sphere mode and nib, things get a little trickier. Actually, would rather would rather search the lotus and draw into bone archfiend. Makes sense. Makes sense. Two is a decent way to split the difference. Two is a very decent way to split the difference. Okay. Uh, we have the ash blossom, which is nice. Also, uh, this is that soul situation that I like. I open soul plus access to bone archfiend independent of soul. If this was crimson plus a uh, crimson plus a level four non tuner, uh, things would not be as good. Things would not be as good. Bone archfiend, what do we want to send? I think we send the void. Apocalypse because it does the least for us. It's a uh, more restrictive foolish burial and we already have access to it Okay Ash ash is fine on bone Ash is fine on bone I don't like it, but it's fine uh, let's see, what can get us out of here? We can go Gaia. Gaia effect. Grab. Oh, I don't know. Vision resonator. Gotta make the pixie here. Gotta get the pixie here. Vision. Okay, special vision. Turn the pixie into an abyss. We'll foolishly leave it in attack position. Playing in the lightning storm, but playing around big beefy monsters that they could summon. Then we gotta grab the golem to help back up the abyss to make sure it sticks around. And then Foolish Burial doesn't get us anywhere, so I think we just hold on to it. The most we could do is thin our deck with it by sending Saranir and then Saranir sending Lubellion. But I think I'd rather send save it as um, cards I could potentially play with next turn if this board doesn't cut it. You can dump the Black Coat Laughs as well. Yeah, Black Coat Laughs is a cool um, Lotus uh, dump target. I like that. Red Rain is the intended dump target, like you said, Ashley. But I do like that they were like, nah, we're too restrictive with Red Dragon Archfiend already. Let's let's let them have this one. We won't lock them into any one specific thing. So I do like that we're allowed to expand past the past the uh, restrictions on that one. Uh, packs. Add an Exocester. Feel like we just have to hit packs. 
I don't know if hitting Martha after it's already on field does anything for us. I would rather just keep him off of Martha, to be honest. There's like a 95% chance that was bait for the Abyss, though. It was not bait. Okay, we did it, everybody. We survived the turn. We survived the turn. We passed three skill checks. Skill check one, we had the Ash for the Max C. Skill check two, we didn't know we were passing the skill check, but Exo Sister did not open Shifter. And then skill check three, uh, we stopped them from getting to Martha. So kudos to us, everybody. Kudos to us. Gaia, let's get a soul. What are back rows? What back rows are they playing? They're playing Vaditz? If I remember the name of it correctly. One of those is probably an Imperm and the other is a Mystery. Wouldn't be surprised to see it be something like an IDP. If they're playing Heavy Traps, you know. Would not be surprised. Uh, we're going to send Ed Uvaloop here because it's a better send at this point in the duel. Off the Bone Archfiend. Zuvaloop can theoretically do stuff for us. Uh, I feel like this is an easy Ash. Vadis gotta Ash that. Hey, there we go. Okay, we got it to go our way. Are you not playing the Supe package? No, uh, not since they released Stone Sweeper in Master Duel and the uh, TCG. Um, here's a deck list, everybody. No, that we have more people hanging out here. Here's a deck list, same one I played last stream. 52 cards. The math works out. We have enough starters to make sure we open at least one way to access Soul Resonator. Occasionally, you'll see two ways to access Soul Resonator, or you know, since a lot of your search cards have added search targets, you can search any of your other resonators for conditional extenders. Enough hand traps to open two of them, like two-thirds of the time so every third game you'll only open one hand trap and the other two games you'll uh, you'll have two so it's enough to play with the big boys and diamond and master and then best deals are in here because they're they're just good into the meta top decks i'll put dark stuff in the graveyard some decks really don't like having the stuff pushed out of the graveyard like math mech uh hitting some of the stuff in snake eyes is good Hitting Ling Garibo or the IP Mascarina that they're about to put in the spell trap from the graveyard is good. And then uh, standard extra deck. Is good vibes here yet? Good vibes if you're here, I'll put the Void Ogre in. I'm not doing it until then though. It's a fun bit. For me at least. Dragon Dragon is good level 8. Yeah, Dragon's pretty neat. Uh, sending is a very, very valuable form of removal. Especially since most of the Red Dragon Archery and Extra Deck destroys, having non-destruction removal accessible in the Extra Deck is really cool. I like Dark End. Uh, did you guys see that they retrained Dark End Dragon? They made it a main deck monster with all the new Chaz cards. They retrained Light End Dragon, Dark End Dragon, Light and Darkness Dragon, and uh, like an Arm Dragon variant, I think. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so since I showed off the deck for everybody, this is the exact hand I'm trying to produce every game. I have non-engine, 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 access to soul resonator, conditional extender. It's literally the perfect hand. And the fact that my three non-engine are Maxi, Ash, and Imperm, probably the three most versatile and thus the three most impactful non-engine cards, means I'm in good shape here. Very good shape here. So soul always go for soul soul would you like to stop me what you got no nope. okay i don't like that the toggle is finicky don't like playing with the toggle off but sometimes i feel like i have to okay bone ear is gonna dump the let's dump the vision they got something it's probably max c no has to be a maxi or it's furniture something that can 
activate in the hand is a quick effect. Uh, at this point, we're just gonna grab the Gaia. Droll? No. What do you got? What do you got that's constantly proccing, but you're not activating? Imperm. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. As much as I would love for Gaia to get us like fiendish golem, so we have another form of non-engine here. I feel like it getting us to another vision is almost as good, and we'll just take the same contingency route as last time. We'll make the seven we stuck in our extra deck just to make sure we're, you know, equipped for this exact situation. We'll special the vision. We'll make the Abyss. And then we get to drop Maxi on him with an Abyss Negate up. So, it's gonna resolve. Going to resolve. End turn. What you got? What else you got? Um, okay, because I don't know what they're on. Kinda wanna just see what they're gonna do and then try to get value out of Maxi. Yeah. Okay, uh, wannabe. So this is lab or this is dynamorphia. Dynamorphia, I called it. Do you play on Omega? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, actually. I play on Omega. I, uh, I play on Omega. Steinomorphia. Yep. We have the same breed. Okay, um, we are, what did they set? Trap trick? Huh, okay, so we're good because we have Abyss for one of the fusion traps, Ash for the other fusion trap. We just gotta make sure that Abyss resolves. Just gotta make sure Abyss resolves, that's all. Uh, activate Crimson Gaia. Okay, Gaia's gonna add a, another soul. So we're gonna have to try and make a play with this Abyss up the entire time, which really reduces the potency of our combos but that's a-okay because we'll make do ooh grabbing eccentric here is kind of nice not gonna lie kind of nice to grab the eccentric here force out one of them back row does anybody remember which one they set the trap trick in middle zone looks like it's the middle zone yes okay ha we're grabbing a centric here we're gonna use it on the middle zone force them to use trap trick or lose it and if they use trap trick they can only activate uh, one trap for the rest of their turn we already have bone we can't do crimson super combo because abyss has got to stay on board but we're uh we're gonna do stuff Okay, that's fine. Uh, Frenzy? How about Nash Blossom? Could be an intact that they're sitting on. Trap trick. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We let the trap trick resolve. Don't know what the mystery one is. Hey, Calder Bluff. Calder Bluff. Okay. Cool. Glad we got that one out of the way. One more went away from Diamond Two. Just playing to the back row. Trust me, bro. Oh, if it's Dynamorphia, I'm not scared of the back row. I uh. As much as I'm ashamed to admit it, I've played a fair, fair number of uh, duels with Dynamorphia. 
I like robots. I like dinosaurs. They're dinosaur robots. They look cool. Uh, Rex Derm is one of the worst design support cards I've seen. It shouldn't be skill drain. Should not be skill drain. They had the perfect blueprint for what to do with Rex Derm, and they they fumbled the bag. All they had to do was make Rex Derm Theresia, um, but instead of the copy a normal trap, you copy a counter trap. Copy a counter trap. Banish it from your graveyard. Copy the effect of that counter trap. That's all they had to do. And then maybe give it some more protection since it's like the end boss. Maybe make sure it can't be like targeted. And then keep the float, float uh, the float effect on it because that's like another one of Dianomorphia signature things. Is they just keep floating and recycling each other. Yeah, that's what they should have done. What they should have done, but they fumbled the bag and they're like, yeah, now nah, let's just put skill drain on it because that's really fun and interesting. I told you, trust me. Yep, I know you got my back, some guy. I know you got my back. Uh, what are we sending in the graveyard? Uvuloop. Gotta be the Uvuloop. Decrease. Uh, dun dun dun. There we go. Red Rising. Red Rising target Crimson. And then, just a heads up for everybody. I am going to have to watch the time tonight. I have to work tomorrow. Boo. Uh, working overtime tomorrow. So, gonna have to call a stream probably a little earlier than what we're used to. Won't be a long, like, four hour stream like I normally do. But, we'll get some run in. We'll definitely get some run in. Uh, and the Gaia. I do like that I have progressed with the new support far enough that I can just autopilot my preferred combo. It's nice. It's nice just being able to turn your brain off, click buttons. Uh, we keep as much as getting the soul back for next turn would be great. We always have access to soul so we get the extra vision back even though we already have one in hand. That's not doing anything for us. This is one of the I guess dangers, if you want to call it a danger of the big build. Occasionally you you will produce hands that are just all engine. Except for the one Baylor. You'll just produce hands that are just nothing but engine. And a bunch of engine cards don't really do a whole lot for you unless your opponent wants to try and negate you as early and as often as possible instead of at your choke points. Uh, let's banish the Red Dragon Archfiend. Summon back the Scar Red. Uvaloop, banish the Red Rising. Okay, Uvaloop put itself in position, special division, use those two to make Bane, oh, I'm out of my mind, I'm clicking the wrong one, yep, use that, getting one step ahead of myself, funny how I mess up after I just said I'm really good at clicking buttons, okay, get Scar Red, Scar Red can go here, Gaia, Guy effect. Grab the red zone. Okay, uh, Void Apocalypse. Is there anything we can send as a feed monster to set us up for next turn? Had we left the Red Rising in Graveyard, uh, another Synchron would have been cool because then it could banish to give us the Synchrons next turn. But I like having the RDA in. Graveyard to float into, get double, super, triple floats next turn. We're all right. We're okay. Let's see what they got. Six cards and we have one, two, three, four, four interactions plus a float plus a float. Should be okay. Um, 
target one spell or trap on the field, or you can target two if you control pieces of Sarkmos. Shuffle them into the deck, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. So they're going to try and get rid of the pop, which I think is fine. I need to save Abyss for something that matters. Tear cash is fine. It'd be great if I opened some bestials. That'd be wonderful if I opened some bestials. Keldo. Oh, uh, Rhoda. So they're going for Rhino. Going to grab Rhino with that. Do we even let them get to Rhino? Do we negate Rhino or do we let them get to Rhino? That is the epic question we need to ask ask ourselves I feel like we just don't let them get the rhino if they have it they have it I'd rather them not have it on field and in rotation probably a wrong decision but it's fine yep that's fine. That's fine. We made the wrong decision, but that's okay. We got the Veiler for the Rhino. They're gonna get a mill three. We'll see what their mills look like. Keldo is a shuffler. Yep. Keldo is a shuffler. They hit Grief. Grief just adds back a trap. That's good. They whiffed. No! No! They had the foolish burial. Okay. Uh, destroying the card does not do anything. We need them to banish something. We need the ability to banish something. Alright, that's fine. Kit. Okay. Sure, what am I going to do about it? Holding on to this, this potter with our life. At least we got the two floats and we'll have a head start on next turn. Oh, tier. Tier cash. Target one monster you control. Special summon one tier lens monster from your hand or the graveyard. And if you send this target monster to the graveyard. And if you do. Do we. Let's. Yeah, because this is the difference between mill three and mill eight. Let's shuffle in our own Red Rising. Sorry, it's the difference between Mill 5 and Mill 8. Get close is going to get sent to the graveyard by a card effect anyway, so we might as well just deny them. Oh, that's, I read that wrong. They didn't have to send it to the graveyard in order to summon. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's a misplay. We've been misplaying ever since we decided to hit the hit the Rota. They're popping off now. Tear is just one of those decks. It's one of those decks. It's either the greatest deck well, post ban list, it's either the greatest deck you've ever seen. Or it's the worst, clunkiest, nastiest chunk of garbage you've ever played. They are currently in the best deck ever. Yep, go shuffle some cards. Do your thing. What are you trying to shuffle back in? Huh? Mine, yours. 
I read the kit close conjunction wrong. It's been so long since I've had to read it. Okay, the strudel. That's fine. Do your thing. Yep. Cool. Cool. Now you can make it a baron with the two. Make a baron with the two. Put the bone back. That's fine. Hey, now I get to watch some combo for 15 minutes. Good news is we got a ton of bodies on board. It's going to be hard to chug through all of them. All right. How's everybody in chat doing? We're gonna be here for a while because I refuse to surrender with a full board up. I'm gonna at least make them churn through it, see if I can force them to time out or force them into making bad decisions. Everybody left in chat. There was like 14 people here. As soon as tears started comboing. Everybody was like, nah, I'm gone. I'm gone. I ain't watching that. Can't say I blame you. I had to sit through months of this. Months of the uh, same deck dominating everything. Kaleido. Hooray! Yup. Okay. Feel like we... Feel like we sold... Keep the dispotter around. Can't run it over. Not yet, at least. Destroy it with Baron. That's fine. Gaia? Okay, cool. Baited the Baron out. That's good. That's good, I suppose. Maybe. Unless they're just now going to turn the Baron into lead material. Having the Dispotter in Graveyard is not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Crash, crash. I float. Cool. Thank you, you attacked. Wrong order. Well, I don't know if there was a right order, but give me that RDA. Get a head start for next turn. Currently debating about building RDA or Horus, Orcus, and TCG. What, uh, which one would I recommend? Um, probably Horus, Orcus, since those two engines are more splashable into other decks. And if you're in a position where you're gonna have to spend actual money on cards, probably want to get as much mileage out of those cards as possible. As much as I love Red Dragon Archfiends, um, it's very narrow in scope. There aren't very many pieces of it that can be picked up and put in other decks. A couple of the extra deck monsters, a couple resonators can be moved around, but that's uh, that's really about it. It's really about it. So, uh, Horse Orcus would be the one that I would personally recommend picking up. As much as it pains me to say that. As much as I want to RDA pill everybody, I feel like I have an obligation to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. Shizuka, uh, what made you pick between those two? 
Why Horus Dorcas or uh, or RDA? Is it the art, it's the play style, budget reasons? All right, chat. We're slowly bleeding, people. We're just gonna get out of here. Nobody wants to watch tear. Nobody wants to watch tear. Sit there and click buttons forever and ever. So we're gonna go. See if we can get the diamond two tonight. We only need two wins. We were one one away. Now we're two wins away. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, not a good start. Lost a coin flip. Lost a coin flip, not a good start. That's alright though. We'll be okay. Maybe. Through the power of friendship we can accomplish anything. Just remember that. Uh no bueno. The shuffler's not on my side anymore. Sorry, Nier. Take us to victory. Extra ab. They're playing lab? Okay. Okay. But no stun. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do. I just need the soul resonator effect to uh, to pop off and I feel pretty good about it. Feel pretty good about it. Just let this resolve, please. Do not negate the summon. Do not negate the summon. Please and thank you. Do not negate the summon. Do not negate the effect. Please, no. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, when this card is activated, you can special summon Helios. While this card is face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is banished and set. Cool. We grab the Arch Venus Centric. We scale the Arch Venus Centric. And do we care about the. Do we care about the set card or the macro? Probably the macro, to be honest. So whatever the set card is, we can try to work around it. We can try. I can't help but feel it's it's a judgment. Can't help but feel that it's judgment. What do we send to the graveyard? Uvaloop is free, but Sarner gets Lubellion into rotation. But I feel like that informs some of my opponent's upcoming turns. Don't let the snake eyes propaganda fool you. Yeah, some guy. I agree with you. Don't let the snake eyes propaganda fool you. Ardia is the true tier zero. <laughs> that, that I doubt. But uh, also, don't don't buy into the snake eyes propaganda. Play with the decks you like. Unless you are dead set on trying to do like do well at a high level. Just don't worry about it. Play the decks you like. Play to have fun trying to take down a YCS then yeah maybe we want to you know take the uh, might want to take the best deck but if you're not don't worry about it okay decrease the level of the monster there's an argument there for potentially uh, increasing it and just going RDA but I feel like I have to push for an OTK now you sell them there it is. Okay, we got the Psalm all the way. Okay. I feel like we push for an OTK though. Um feel like we push for an OTK. Well, I felt like we had to push for an OTK. Taking the Crimson out feels bad. It's probably the safest move. Maybe we take out a Red Rising. Yeah, let's just take out a Red Rising. What's the matter? It doesn't matter. Cool. Battle. Hit him with a Sarnir. Hope that's enough. Hope that's enough. 
they negate the summon of Scar Red, it does not get to float because it's technically not in the monster zone. Yay! There we go. Siren Air beats. That's all we need, baby. Damn shit, went down to three. Yeah, some guy. Everybody hated Tear. I should have bailed earlier. Should have just taken the L. Kept the viewership. It's okay. Everybody will come back. Maybe they want to go get a snack. They're like, yeah, this tier game isn't interesting. Tier is just clicking buttons and popping off. And dude is playing RDA as an idiot and negated Rota because he thought for sure they wouldn't already have Rhino Heart in hand. They did. I like, oh, oh, Shizuka. I like RDA because of the extra deck nostalgia, but I feel that the deck loses to anybody who knows what the deck does. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some of that. Some of that. Uh, Diviner. What is playing Diviner now in the current meta? Probably Dogmatica. Feel like this is worthy of a Veiler. Diviner is always a good Veiler target. Always a good Veiler target. Horse Dorcus is also nice because the last time I played. Hey! Not even paying attention. I'm going to finish reading this message. Then we'll celebrate Diamond 2. Horse Dorcus is also nice because the last time I played was in Toss and the horse cards look cool but are very expensive. They don't own SP as well. Uh, you don't need SP to play horse. Uh, horse does just fine without turning the bodies into anything because they're super free big bodies. So you don't really need SP to play it. Uh, probably the only card that's worth having to pair with the horse engine is uh, Photon Lord, the rank eight XZs because it has a monster negate attached to it. So that means you can turn your horse engine into a monster negate to help insulate the rest of your combo. But um, you don't need SP with the horse stuff. Like SP definitely helps. It's an amazing card. It's going to make your deck better, but you don't need it. You don't need to spend the money on it. Not if you're just playing at locals. You can make do for a while. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Here it is, chat. Diamond 2. We made it. Next up, Diamond 1. Next up, Diamond 1. Four more wins. All right, let's test our luck. Let's see if we're on a hot streak. If we're on a hot streak, we'll keep going for just a little bit longer. If, uh, if we're going to get cold, we're not going to run the risk of ranking back down and uh, probably just hang out with you guys for a little bit and then call it a night so I can go to bed. But I believe in us. I believe we're on a hot streak. I believe we're going to get to, uh, to Diamond 1 tonight. I believe it. Uh, hands mid decent going first hand bad going second hand i have two pieces of non-engine they're just not the right non-engine okay cash cash birth is this uh it's gonna be snake eyes cash because if it is i'm out i'm out i learned my lesson from the tier learned my lesson from the tier game Lost 10 people because they didn't want to watch a deck they were forced to watch for months. I'm not going to make them do it again. Not going to make them do it again. Okay, missions. Let's collect their gems, see where we're at. Did a new dual pass start yet? Nope, two days. Alright. Um, kind of feel like I have one more game in me. Maybe we'll check out Dual Triangle chat which team are we going to pick which team are we going to pick for dual triangle i'll let you all pick the team you better pick the correct one but i will let all of you pick the team are you guys caught up to me yet nope not yet All right, chat, which team are we picking? Pick the right one, please. Well, 
long we've been streaming for? Synchro. Shizuka, good vote. Good vote. Alright, I heard everything I needed to hear. I'm convinced. Team Synchro, let's build a deck. What do loner decks look like? Dwellers of the Fabled Realm. Oh, Crimson King. Look at that. Uh, this is the most mid deck I've seen. I mean, it's not bad for a loner deck. It really isn't bad for a loner deck. Not bad for a loner deck, but it's still pretty bad. What's a Fable deck look like? Fable is coming to Duel Links, I think, and they're getting a skill. And they're getting a skill, so maybe I'll check out Fabled and Duel Links. Always seemed interesting to me. Playstyle has been interesting. Okay, so let's build a deck. Can I import a deck from something else or no? Okay, three, 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 three. Come on, I don't care. Uh, one, two. Da, 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 da. Resonant destruction. I always wish this card was better. This card is win more, but it's so good when you get to resolve it. Okay, let's see what red dragon archfiends are available. Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, yes, 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 Okay, uh, what else do we want to play? Maybe we throw a Calamity in there, depending what's legal. Potter's legal, cool. The supernova band. No, supernova legal. That's sweet. Uh, we need Pixie. Cool. Void. Did I decraft my Void Ogre Dragon? Probably did. Yep, sure did. That's fine. Rarely comes up. Uh, what's the it's the second abyss? Whatever they have the second abyss, second abyss, or the one calamity. It's an easy one. Second abyss. Pick the card that's fun to play. Okay, I need bone. Boom, boom, boom. Save. What non-engine is legal? Three bestials are legal. Do I just get to play the same deck list? Well, that's no fun. Should I mix up chat? Let me know right now. Should I mix up the deck list? Let me know if I should mix it up, play a different version. Do you want me to play like 40 card pure, no bestials? Kind of feel like bestials are going to be good in this event. I kind of feel like they're going to be good. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. While I'm waiting for all of you to answer, I'm going to add all the mainstays. There's no maxi. That influences deck building. No maxi is good. Bell's fine. Valor's fine. Imperm's fine. Ash Valor, Imperm. I mean, call by's at two. I might as well play two called by. But da 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 da. Talents. Ash, Failure, Imperm, Nib, Bell. Is Droll legal? Cool. Void of 
Apocalypse is legal. Cool. We got Foolish Burial. This deals one, one, one. And a brand of beast. And I'm missing one card. Which card is it? Technically, I'm missing two cards. Because Droll Knockbird's in the maxi spot. Droll Knockbird's in the maxi spot. What two cards am I missing? It's not the Bestials. Playing three soul. Oh, and the big build I play. No, nope, I'm playing three vision. I'm playing the two synchron. Somebody do the work for me. Somebody do the work for me. Okay. We'll just go. Back. Back. Go to the deck editor. This deal RDA. Edits. Okay. Thrash to Bell. Oove loop I forgot to put in. And the Stone Sweeper. Thank you, Shizuka. You found it. You found it. And eccentric. Eccentric, sweeper, and oobloop. Thank you. Eccentric. I would have been very sad when I realized I didn't have the oobloop. Centric Oovaloop and what was the other one? Stone Sweeper. Why am I heavier on cards though? Because I'm playing the two called by. Cut to called by and we're good. Let's ship it. Let's play one, maybe two. Two duels of dual triangles start knocking that out. Let's uh, view the deck. Won't let you view. That's fine. I could have just copied from my deck. So, so silly of me. You can tell I'm starting to get tired, everybody. This is how my brain works when I am tired. I have been up since 5 a.m. this morning. It's good times. Day start at 5. They don't end till about mm, now. But it's Friday, and I wanted to hang out with all of you, play some Yu-Gi-Oh, do some cool stuff, have a good time. Okay, let's go. Normal soul, what you got? Please scoop. Give me free wins. Give me free gems. Oh no, you negated soul. No. No, how will I ever recover? There's no possible way I could ever recover. None, I tell you, none. Not a single possible way I could ever recover from you hitting soul. Be a shame. Be a shame if I opened the three of. Technically bone is a seven of. 100 points to Team Synchro. We did it, Team Synchro. All right, 200 gems. That's what we like to see. Let's do another one. Give me them gems. We're gem farming now. We're gem farming. Give me them gems. I want to open some more packs. I got to finish the... Finish the Chimera Core. Got to finish that build up. I like playing Chimera. It's a fun deck. Top locals with that deck. It's a really fun deck. Two and perm, pretty nice. Centric is okay, in case they pivot into a contingency plan. Castira. Castira Snake Eyes is legal. Castira Snake Eyes is legal for the dual triangle event. How and why? Dumbest thing I've ever seen. Hello, everybody. We have this cool 
event that we want you to all participate in. By the way, we've uh, left the best deck of the last few months completely untouched. Hopefully nobody plays it and ruins the event for you. Match it. Let's check their uh, deck profile. See what's... I don't want to check their profile. I want to confirm my opponent's deck. There we go. Uh, okay. Okay, Diabell Star is at one. So it's not Kestira Snake Eyes, it was pure Kestira. This deck looks even less fun to play against, though. Looks way less fun to play against than regular, regular, uh, Kestira Snake Eyes. Alright, we get to go first. Let's do it, everybody. Let's speed run this event. I honestly didn't think we would get through this many duels, but I'm glad we are. Okay, draw face. Maximi, come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's right, Maxi isn't even legal in this format. This is your brain on drugs, folks. Why are you hitting the stone sweeper? I mean, it's right, but there's no way you know it's right to do that. There's no way you know it's right to do that. Not a chance. You get punished so hard in so many different ways by hitting stone sweeper. You are very lucky you didn't get punished. What you playing? Exo sister, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit the packs again. Called by... Oh, no, it sucked if I had the bell. Do you hear that? It's a bell ringing. Ding-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding. No, thank you, called by. My friend Ash Blossom will resolve. Come on, pass. Nothing. No! No! Okay, that's fine. We might be cooked on this one. Let's see what we top deck. No! Cast Patel. Has anybody here played Exosisters? The play style of the deck seems like something I would enjoy, to be honest with you. Like, minus shifter. But, calling new Nefira. That's funny. That's funny. The, uh, yeah, the play style of the deck definitely feels like something I would probably enjoy. Just a lower to the ground, kind of mid rangey deck. Room for non engine. Okay, they got to Martha. We're out of here. They got to Martha. We're out of here. We needed for them to not ash the Stone Sweeper for whatever reason. Although I suppose if they didn't ash the Stone Sweeper, they would have ashed the Soul. If they were that that trigger happy with it, would have been okay. Uh, let's go first. Sounds like a good idea. By the way, to everybody, um, while we're here, let me check it. I am at 993 subscribers. We are seven away. Seven away from 1,000. Uh, this is a milestone I honestly never knew I could possibly make. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for hanging out with me, and watching all the videos, and supporting the channel. Um, Let's maybe start thinking about stuff we want to see for like a 1k viewer, 1k sub um, celebration. Because I definitely think that's a milestone worth celebrating. Definitely think it's a milestone worth celebrating. In addition to that, uh, make sure you tell your friends and everybody else to uh, subscribe to the channel so we can get to a thousand faster. And then do the celebration faster. I want to keep the beasts because I have them magnumut. 
already, which means I have the guaranteed interruption. I like having the guaranteed interruption in Bell, but Apocalypse is an extender. Kind of just, I gotta get rid of the Apocalypse as much as I don't want to get rid of the extender. They haven't shown me anything yet as far as activation windows for hand traps, so I might be okay. There's probably a good chance I'm going to get hit with a nib in my life. I fear one thing and one thing only, and that's having a giant rock thrown at my face. I'm sure all of you can relate. Okay, Crimson. No, do not activate the bell. Okay, Crimson Effect. Uh, you and you. Although, I suppose if I'm afraid of Nib, probably should have gone with a uh, Supernova line there, but that's fine. When I inevitably get hit with the rock in my face, I'll look around for someone to blame and find a mirror. Find a mirror and blame myself. Okay, let's do the combo, the abyss, standard setup here, standard stuff here, folks. We did find a way to put the Oobaloop in Graveyard, right? No? Why did we not find a way to put the Oobaloop in Graveyard? You. You. That's fine, we can still make it work, but... We can still make it work. We didn't put the Oobaloop in Graveyard because we gave up the Void Apocalypse, which would have been the second card in our two card combo to get the Oobaloop into rotation. Puzzle it out, everybody. That's fine. We're still going to go with Bistil the Spotter. Still gonna go with this Potter. Because we have the Magnemut. Magnemut's okay to put on the board now. So we don't really lose much. We don't really lose much since we will be able to search a replacement bestial. Search a replacement bestial. And we banish the Red Rising gear because I don't think I want to use this Potter's effect to bring it back. I think I'm just going to turn the Magnemut into the second Scar Red. Let's turn it into the second Scar Red. Just so the Dissipator Pop is live. Pretty much the entire time my opponent is taking their turn. I would rather have that be live than have to use a Bistial at an inopportune time. We'll grab Druid Swarm here, because Druid Swarm paired up with Branded Beast is great. You uh, send the Druid Swarm to the graveyard for the cost of Beast. And New Chain, Druid Swarm activates. Oh, hey! It's, uh, yeah, I know how your deck works. I'm sorry. Kotal. Kotal grab Sword Knight. It's not going to go well for you. Your deck has a very fragile choke point in Burfamet. Yeah, I get the two for one them off of the beast with the Druid Swarm. Yep, go ahead, do Mirror Sword Snipe. Go ahead and do it. Okay, put it in the graveyard. Yep. Um. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. I thought it would be hilarious if I could use the Druid Swarm, but they don't control a monster. They won't until Burfamet's on the field, so the this Potter negate won't be live for the Burfamet. We have to use the Abyss here to keep them off of Chimera Fusion. Well, they already have it. Yep, they already have it. That's fine. Druid Swarm is going to take out the Mirror Sword Knight, turn their negate off. Turn their negate off and they can summon whatever they want. Let's see what they're going to summon. 
they won't have a monster negate attached to the big monster they're gonna make. Oh, my leg's gonna cramp up. Oh, I'm old. I got a leg cramp by adjusting, adjusting the way I sit. Okay, they're gonna try and chain block. Well, they can't chain block because they can't target an illusion monster in the graveyard to special summon it. Okay. Cool. Got material. Got another fusion. Okay. Ah. Oh, they do have an illusion. I'm so dumb. Cornfield's an illusion. Okay, um, let's see here. We need to, chain link two is birth, target the cornfield. I don't care about the cornfield. Let's go ahead and, they have more fusion material in their hands. We can't stop the birth from that. We just need to let them do what they're going to do. Okay. What's this thing do? If a fiend monster sent to your giver by card effect, accepting the damage step, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if there or hand, banish it. If this card is sent to your graveyard by card effect, you can target one fiend monster in your giver, except I will like add it to your hand. So they can add the birth from it back to the graveyard if this finds its way to the graveyard. By card effect. Uh, they might be going for a Guardian Chimera line, which is okay, because we have Soul Res to handle that. What I really need them to do is try to add back this Chimera Fusion so I can bell it. I know they have one in hand. No, they have one in hand, but that's fine. As long as they don't get a third use out of it, I'll be okay. Yep. Bell it. We bell it. Okay, now the other Chimera Fusion I know you searched is the only way you have left to make a play, unless those other cards in your hand or something. I know you have Fusion, I know you have Gazelle. This is all fine. This is all fine. Whoops, sorry for punching the mic, everybody. You make Guardian Chimera, that's fine. It takes, takes Chimera, the flying mythical beast off the field, which Burfamet is masquerading as right now. It takes that off the field, so it turns off the targeting protection of Kotal. You don't have polymerization in graveyard so chimera guardian chimera can be dealt with via red zone or branded beast and guardian chimera can't pop my cards because i have soul resonator in graveyard so we're we're okay we're doing good doing good okay Ooh. okay okay so they're gonna search a poly with the agent chain. That's the, okay. That is the correct chain link order. You made it so I couldn't block you from getting the poly. Um, feel like we need to go, let's do red zone, effects, Target. We're gonna target the. This summons one from Banish. During your opponent's turn and during your opponent's turn. Oh, uh, which one do we need to get rid of? Probably Burf. Okay, would you like to use the codal? Okay, that's fine.
Uh, yes, I think this is worth a despotter negate. We will shuffle in the mirror sword knight. We don't want to give them access to that again. Not through the birth. We're about to pop. Sorry, Chimera, the flying mythical beast. By the way, oh, they did, they put another one in the graveyard. I missed that. Whoops. Whoops, I put another one in the graveyard. Send the Jew Swarm. Uh, we will destroy. Doesn't matter, destroy you. Destroy you. Uh, no, we need to save the soul resonator. They're only going to have one last push. Only going to have one last push. And that's fine. As long as I can keep them off of... Keep them off of the gates. Okay. Here's Apollo. You have a Garden Chimera play. Them getting past that Burfam at choke point was very good for them. Very, very good for them. Good vibes you're here. What'd you miss? Uh, nothing too much. Nothing too much good vibes. Hello. You can win. Uh, Tito, yes, I believe I can win too. I think I'm doing okay. Uh, probably a little misplay because I missed that they put the second Mirror Sword Knight. Yeah, I missed that they uh, put the second Mirror Sword Knight in graveyard so that this Potter Negate fell through. But we'll be okay because they just used their last push for Guardian Chimera. And we're going to use the effect of Soul Resonator to blank the destruction. So it's up to whatever they have left in their hands to get them there. Battle phase, you can walk over the abyss. That's fine. We'll float. Hey, there it is. They know we got too much coming back for us. Sweet. Sweet. More points, more gems. Yeah, another hundo. There we go. How many total points do we need to get all of the gems? I don't care about the prestige stuff. 2,200. We're getting 100 wins. So we got to get what? 22 wins? 19 more wins? Oh, that's so many wins. So many wins. Oh. You think that Dragonique can be played in RDA? Uh, no, not really. To be honest, I think it's probably a little too niche. Let's look it up. Let's look at it. Let's look it up. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Draco knee. Oh, there it is. Cool. I found it. If a fiend monster except Diabolica. Is sent to your graveyard by a card effect. You can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when the monster was sent or hand. But banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, target a fiend in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Um, I don't really know if it does anything for RDA. Like it's a free body you can summon. But the only points in your setup combo when you send a fiend to the graveyard are potentially Bone Arch Fiend summoning itself from hand or graveyard, or Bone Arch Fiend sending one from deck to graveyard to modulate the level. And at both those points, you don't want 
this card to be on the field because it would then turn off the crimson resonator you're trying to work into rotation any other point during the combo you send a fiend to the graveyard by card effect <coughs> sorry my uh, throat's getting dry ran out of water uh no there's no other point during the combo in which you send one by card effect unless you have a miscellaneous discard outlet that you didn't need for your combo um and then let's see it recycles a fiend from the graveyard back to the hand we pretty much do that already with all the stuff we care about getting back in the hand via crimson gaia yeah because gaia gets us back vision which can search us more stuff gets us back soul which can search us more stuff bone doesn't care if it's in the graveyard because it can just summon itself out uh the only thing we'd want to get back from the graveyard is like a synchron just to open up some different lines or routes or make the levels work or use it to turn itself and a body into another body and then recycle back another one of the resonators to keep extending that's really the only one that we would want to get back so and then Uvaloop obviously gets itself back to hand pretty easy yeah no I don't think this card this card is cool it's definitely cool very cool. I wish more Yu-Gi-Oh cards were designed around this power level. I wish there was a format in which this was good, but I don't think it's I don't think it's a fit in RDA. Not right now at least. You never know what's gonna happen in the future. Good vibes. Fought this deck going second on me. It was rough. Uh yeah, it can feel rough. Uh Chimera is one of those decks. Uh when it pops off, it pops off, but it doesn't always pop off. Uh, I have a lot of experience with the deck. I played it a lot in the TCG uh, just because I thought the illusion type was like really cool. It's like the first new thing that I've been around for in the TCG. Like as they were releasing, you know, the illusion type, I figured yeah, I might as well get it on, in on the ground floor. What are the odds that they come up with this whole new type and just make it bad? And uh, played a lot of it at locals before the RDA structure came out and new support came out. Did good with it top locals handful of times with it really cool deck really fun deck does have a big choke point though if you can negate the Burfamet, um usually it's not very good for them and ideally like you probably saw in my duel you want to hit it with uh with an ash hit it with an ash so you can uh not given the opportunity to dodge target indication with a chimera fusion they already opened or uh, like a book of moon or whatever else they might happen to be playing also if you happen to have an ash blossom against the deck um, use it on mirror sword knight because you want to deny them the body on field even if they even if you ash the burfamat that they summon if they already have Chimera Fusion, they already have the material they need in hand to fuse it off. Even if Burfamat doesn't get to grab them stuff, um, they, they can still use the body and make good use of it. Still gets them a ton of value. Uh, by the way, shameless plug, I made a whole video on the Chimera strategy. Chimera Fusion Illusion strategy. So if you haven't watched it, check it out. I'm sure pretty much all of you have uh, video did really well I like that style of video I like it a lot the what you need to know style it's uh, fun for me to make and uh, they do pretty good for the channel they do pretty good the last couple I made have, um, have found their way into like the uh, top five of most recent videos or whatever cool uh, good vibes since you're here since you're here, good vibes. I feel like we gotta do this. Okay. We have uh, stumbled upon something, and that thing we have stumbled upon is that I have, in fact, dismantled my Void Ogre Dragon. 
So, we are going to do something just for you. What do I get rid of? What you are do I get rid of? Or we don't get rid of any of you ours. We open packs. Good vibes. I've been joking all night that if you showed up, I was going to have to uh, put a Void Ogre Dragon in my deck just for you. I was going to have to play with it just for you. Uh, Chop. Really enjoyed all of your RDA videos. Picked up on... Picked up the deck on Master Rule this week. Well, congratulations on picking it up, and thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for watching. Hopefully they're hopefully they're good. Hopefully watching the stream too was uh, fun and enjoyable and educational. Um, for what it's worth, too, I know I bounce around a lot between formats with Red Dragon Archfiend, between you know TCG and Master Rule and even Duel Links. Uh, most of the knowledge carries over one to one from. Master Duel to to uh, t to the TCG. They have pretty much the same card pool for Red Dragon Archfiend at the moment. The only difference is like building around a format with Max C versus one without it. So if you're ever looking for like more breakdowns or in-depth stuff and you're not seeing any of that in the Master Duel category, check out the TCG stuff. Uh, all the knowledge should translate pretty well. Okay, let's see, do I need any more cards? Your cards. Uh, no, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay, I think I got everything I need. Okay, so we don't need to pull any there. Are there any other random pools we have? Rescue Ace, nah, I don't really wanna play Rescue Ace. I thought about it for a little bit. need one more tickets okay out of those tickets cool good luck dude it's a great fun deck you gotta be a great pilot though uh good vibes is definitely right uh tyler uh rda is um it's tough sometimes when you get to play and you get to combo it's feels like one of the best decks you've ever played uh the trick is just don't always get the combo so you have to build in contingency plans and backup plans and uh playing into boards uh takes um a lot of practice you have to basically sequence your plays perfect almost every time it's uh it's really fun and really satisfying to do that though which is one of the reasons why i like playing the deck really enjoy that it rewards me for doing things in the correct order or making reads Oh, bro, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm watching two minutes behind. Oh, no worries. Good vibes. No worries. I know you guys are on delay. Um, even me seeing chat, because I'm doing it on my phone, is on a slight delay, but it hasn't caused any issues yet. I think I'm going to call it for the night, to be honest. I got to work tomorrow. Um, got to work tomorrow, so I got to be up early tomorrow, so I should probably get some sleep. So I think we're going to do the normal thing. Open some master packs, not master packs, legacy packs. Thank you. And see if we get anything cool. We'll open a couple of these. Cool. Um, gross. What is this thing? Full active duplex? That thing, that is a cool looking monster. And that is a terrible card. That is such a waste of good artwork. Robot dinosaurs, everybody. Meows click. Hey, Gemini Elf throwback. Throwback to the simpler days. Anything else random and cool? Defusion. Dual Links tech card. Kunai with chain. Another flashback. Another flashback. Crimson Sunbird. Skull Knight. Cool. Pump King. They need to retrain Pump King, by the way. They need to milk the... DM nostalgia for Pumpkin. They need to do it. They need to build an archetype around Pumpkin and not make it like a boring stall deck or whatever. Make it interesting. Do it, Konami. Please, I'm begging you. One of my favorite cards from when I was a kid. Uh, nothing else cool.
cool that I can think of. Cool, let's open a hundred more. Let's do a hundred more. Cool. Oh, shit. Yeah. We had a Royal Ningursu. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one to have too. World Chalice is a fun deck to play. Maybe I'll uh, try to figure out um, how World Chalice plays in Master Duel. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see, print screen. Boop. Boop. I'll crop that later. Yeah, let's see if I can time it for when the... Uh... Nope, I'm never going to be able to time it. That's fine. Yeah, that's awesome. That was definitely worth the next 10. Cybersaurus. Uh, yeah, you're definitely right, good vibes. Uh, I played too many hand traps to make um, good use of Void Ogre Dragon, but I figured I would do it just for you because it's become a bit between you and I <laughs> now where we just go back and forth about Void Ogre all the time. We'll spend four hours talking about Void Ogre, so I figured it'd be funny if I finally played it, you know. Uh, maybe for the Dual Triangle, next time I hop on stream, to play in the dual triangle event, I'll build a deck that uh, makes better use of Void Ogre. I've been playing the Bestial version. Bestial version is really good at putting the extra body on board to make Void Ogre too. But there's been a handful of times where I've had the opportunity to make it, but just can't because I, I don't have the extra deck, which is fine. Holding Bestial in hand is never a bad thing, but sometimes I like to get greedy. Sometimes it's fun to be greedy. All right, everybody, let's uh, show off the decks for anybody who just joined. Here's the decks, everybody. So what I played today, we climbed from Diamond 3 to Diamond 2. We're working our way up. We're going to get to Master. It's going to happen. Needs to happen this season. I wanted to last season, but I just ran out of time. Uh, but this season, I've been doing a better job of playing a little bit off stream, so that way it's not all... So that way it doesn't all have to happen on stream. Like we can, we can get there. Uh, RDA is definitely a deck that can do it. Um, other people did it last season. I had a good win rate with the deck. I just didn't have the volume of wins needed to climb. So, and then this is what we played in the uh, dual triangle event. Same exact deck, but three droll instead of three maxi. Uh, I threw up a deck profile for the big Bistil RDA version. Uh, deck profile did uh, not as good as I thought it would. I might have missed the hype train for Red Dragon Archery deck profiles, but eh, that's fine. I wanted to put together something I felt comfortable presenting to the world since I, I don't know, part of my branding is as, uh, as like the RDA guy or an RDA guy. So I wanted something that was a little more unique to me and something I felt comfortable and confident in rather than just like a stock list. All right, so those are the decks I played. Uh, if you're interested in seeing me play them, um, you can rewatch the stream because I'm about to end it. And you can also stay tuned to the channel and uh, I'll be back. I'm always back, always, always back. Thank you everybody for hanging out. Appreciate it. I had fun. Thought it was a good night. Um, see you later. Be safe. Have fun, everybody.